only mother I ever knew was the woman who owned me. And no one ever saves people like us. Have you heard the one where a Kunari, an elf, a dwarf, and three humans walk into a bar? Well, if by walk you mean break into, and by bar you mean impenetrable fortress containing an ancient magical artifact, that's the setup for Dragon Age Absolution, Netflix's animated take on Bioware's fantasy video game series. It may be a little too entrenched in game lore for newcomers to the franchise, but there's still plenty to enjoy in this six-episode series. Absolution is led by a stellar ensemble, with Kimberly Brooks, Phil Lamar, Ashley Birch, Keston John, Sumali Montano, and Matthew Mercer voicing the merry band of adventurers that we follow. Josh Keaton provides the voice of Deventer Magister Reserin, performing with an optimism that brilliantly morphs as he stumbles further into obsession. The cast is excellent, injecting these characters with levity and life. Fight scenes are fluid and dynamic throughout, expertly choreographed to showcase vastly different styles. Yet, at a certain point, most of the series becomes an extended fight scene of sorts. There's little room to breathe along with the characters as they navigate their mission. We're essentially fast-forwarded through their arc from near strangers to loyal comrades. This is likely owed to the short runtime, and to be fair, character relationships are compelling despite the obstacle. It only speaks to the strength of the writing that we're left wanting to see so much more. Elven mercenary Miriam, in particular, is a fascinating protagonist, both incisive and ruthless as she faces down her enemies. However, her strength lies in a vulnerability beautifully wrought within Brooks's performance. In a lot of ways, this series is about return, about revisiting the site of your trauma and deciding how or why or whether or not to rise above it. Brooks balances Miriam's pain, rage, and regret wonderfully. As the backbone of the series, Miriam and her allies feel so wonderfully studied. Their conflicts, both internal and interpersonal, weave seamlessly into established Dragon Age history in a way that captures the sheer breadth of the world these characters inhabit. There is, however, an unfortunate side effect. While Absolution does its best to ease in unfamiliar audiences, approaching the story without knowledge of the franchise lore has potential to lessen the impact of certain twists. Other recent animated adaptations, notably Arcane and The Legend of Vox Machina, are more successful in this aspect. There's just so little time in Absolution. Though the series makes admirable use of every second of it, it often feels as though a glossary might come in handy if this is your first Dragon Age foray. Those who already are Dragon Age fans, though, are certainly in for a treat with Absolution, revisiting the world of Thetis and seeing the magical powerhouse nation of Tevinter animated for the first time. There are exciting callbacks to the games, brief cameos from beloved characters, and a thrilling twist with high-stakes implications for future franchise installments. It feels like dropping in to visit an old friend, even if most of these characters are entirely new. Complex characters and compelling story beats make Dragon Age Absolution a memorable installment in the fantasy franchise, but the show's bite-sized length and deep entrenchment in game lore often get in its own way. However, as a whole, it's still a wildly good time that fans of the games in particular are sure to enjoy. For another video game adaptation, check out what we thought of Cyberpunk Edgerunners. And for everything else, stick with IGN. I'd like to offer you a job. Three experienced fighters, two mages, and yourself? This job must be dangerous. We need to steal an artifact. 